I went by your house, what a big mistake But for a while I thought that I wouldn't break I need something else to clear my head Someone to tell me how to live instead Just open your eyes and take my advice Stop rolling the dice and just compromise It's the chance of your life Hi everybody and welcome to Run Tall with Tim. I'm Tim. I'm glad you're here and we get to spend a little time together. On today's episode, I am reviewing the Insta360 Go-To Action Cam. Okay, try to be brave. You have so much to say. Take control of your own life. Right now, every now the Insta360 Go-To Action Camera was sent to me for the purpose of review by Insta360. However, I'm not being paid to make the video and no one has an opportunity to preview my thoughts before I share them with you first here on YouTube. The Insta360 is known for being tiny in size and for shooting footage with incredible stabilization and in slow motion. But one of the most remarkable features about this little action camera is its versatility. So let's take a deep dive into the Insta360 go-to action camera to see how all this is possible. One of the most impressive features of this little guy is the ability to be able to rotate the camera 360 degrees and maintain a level horizon. So that means that you're gonna get a lot more usable footage that looks both impressive and professional. The Insta360 GoTo Action Camera is not just tiny in size, but it's also ultra lightweight. I put it on my scales and it came in at a mere 27 grams. Now it's about the size of a USB thumb drive and with the magnetic back and the magnetic accessories that come with it, you can keep it small so that you can get shots that you never could before. Now the camera comes with four different magnetic accessories that make it really easy to switch from one another so you can get those great shots quickly and not have to carry around a lot of different types of equipment and take a lot of downtime to switch from one another. Now the first one is this pendant. It's made to be worn underneath your clothing I think it works great for first person views. It's really immersive. It shows people what it is that you see. Now I like to take this down to my local state park when I'm going for a walk down by the lake. Next up in the box for accessories is this hat clip. Now you can wear this on the brim of your hat. Now I'm a runner so I typically have my hat turned around backwards so I like to wear it on the adjustable strap in the back of my hat. Now with the hat clip it gives you a slightly different immersive experience with that first person view. So as you turn and you look at different things around you, you get to share with your audience what it is that you're exploring. Next in the box is this pivot stand. Now this is really fun and unique and it's probably the most convenient of the accessories that come in the box. You simply slide the cover off and now that reveals a sticky substance that you can then place it just about anywhere where you have a clean, dry surface, including my Yoda Best Dad coffee mug. But you can also stick it to your wall. Maybe you want to get a unique uh, shot that way. You can stick it to the dash of your vehicle in case you want to capture some time-lapse photography. You can also stick it to the inside window of your vehicle in case you want to capture yourself driving. Or you can even stick it to a drone. You're really only limited by your own creativity and imagination. And as a YouTube content creator, I make running videos and I'm always looking for ways to improve the quality of the videos that I produce to make them both fun and interesting. And the go-to action camera and this accessory specifically is making that job just a little bit easier. The last accessory in the box is your charge case, but it's so much more than that. It also acts as your remote. It's got a clamshell design. It's magnetic, so all I have to do is just pop in the Insta360 Go To, and it's going to connect right away. It has a nice, easy to read LED screen with a two button interface. Now, the one button just allows you to scroll through all of the different options that are available to you, and you've got plenty of them. You can record in standard mode, take a photo, record in pro mode, time lapse, time shift. HDR mode or in slow motion video. And then finally, the last option is settings. In case you want to customize any of those different options that I just mentioned to you to make sure that you're getting the right footage that you're looking for. The other button controls your shutter so you can use that to take a photo. You can start and stop your video recording with that button as well. And then when you're all done, all you have to do is close that clamshell and it will protect your camera. So let's take a closer look at the charge case to see what other features that they've built in for us. Here you can see that they've included a USB to C port. They also have a place where you can attach this both to a tripod or to a selfie stick, but you don't need to use those extra accessories if you don't want to, because you can always use the case to hang on to, to use that as a selfie stick to take both great photos as well as some videos. Or if you want, 
you can use the built-in tripod so that you can just kind of set it and forget it and take some great photos and videos that way. So everything you need to take some great videos, great photos, is contained in this little case that's really no bigger than what you might carry your earbuds in. So if you're using the camera while it's in the case itself, you're gonna have about two and a half hours of battery life. So that is a lot of photos and videos that you can take, that's super impressive. But you know, you don't need the charge case in order to take great photos and videos. All you really need is the Insta360 go-to action camera itself. Outside of the case, you're gonna have about 30 minutes of charge time. Still, a lot of photos and videos that you can take. Super simple to use. It's got a one button interface here. The entire front face is basically your shutter button. You can press it once to start recording and you can see it's starting to flash there to indicate that it is recording. It'll also buzz and vibrate to let you know any kind of status change in the camera itself. So whether you're starting to record, stopping recording, or if the camera's turning on or off. Now, when I mentioned that the strength of this camera is in its versatility, I wasn't just referring to all of the different accessories that are out there and available to you that are so easy and fun to use. You can get super creative, get some really impressive video footage as well as some photos. But I was also talking about its connectivity. One of the first things you're gonna to wanna to do when you get your own Insta360 Go to is to download the app, either for your smartphone or your tablet. And you can use the app as a remote to be able to control your camera, take a photo, take a video, whatever it is that you wanna do. But one of the neatest things I think about the app is its preview window and it connects via Wi-Fi. That way you can frame your shot before you shoot it, making your videos and photos just that much more impressive. You can also use the app for editing. It's super easy to download your photos and your video footage, and they have all kinds of options. So if you wanna trim your footage, add some music, add a filter, you can do that. But if you don't wanna do it yourself, they have an AI system that'll take your clips, combine them together, and produce a video for you. Now the app is a really fun and easy way to edit your videos and to be able to share it quickly, both with your friends, maybe post it to social media, but you don't have to use the app. Now I like to use the Insta360 Studio. It's a free software that you can download both for your PC as well as your Mac. Super easy to transfer files. You simply use the USB to C cable that's provided for you, plug it directly into my iMac in my case, and it recognizes it instantly. And then from there, it's simply drag and drop. In pro mode, you can record up to 1440p at 50 frames per second, or in slow motion mode, you record at 1080p at 120 frames per second. Now at that frame rate, you can really slow your footage down to get some really dramatic looking shots that are super impressive. Now I like to record in pro mode most of the time, and that's because I have a lot more editing options when I use the Insta360 Studio. If I wanna reframe a shot, I can do that. Now this is the only action camera I know of that allows you to do this, but I can also change the field of view. So I can go narrow, I can go linear, I can choose action view or narrow view. Now I typically, when I'm outdoors, use action view. When I'm indoors, I'll use the linear view but it's so cool that I can change the aspect ratio. I can change so many different things about the video footage that I've shot after the fact in the Insta360 Studio. In addition to all of the things we've already talked about, the Insta360 GoTo Action Camera has an internal storage of 32 gigabytes and it's waterproof up to four meters or 13 feet. Now the Insta360 GoTo Action Camera retails for 299 US dollars. And now that includes all of the different accessories that are included in the box that we talked about, including the magnetic pendant, the hat clip, the pivot stand, and the charging case. And in my opinion, it's worth every bit of that 299 US dollars because this camera can do things that no other action camera on the market can do. Hey, thanks for making it to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed making it for you. As always, run tall, run strong, be kind to one another. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. You got that something, baby, that I can go without. Just like a poison in me, you're all that I'm about.